today we are going to learn the theory of color and how you can use color in a very creative and strategic way. Hi y'all, bonjour, hola, my name is Trish. If you're new on this channel, welcome. We are so glad to have you here. On this channel, we learn about the basics of Photoshop for beginners. And I have some intermediate and advanced tutorial as well. So if you want to be a part of it, smash the subscribe button and join the community of learners. So if you're ready, let's jump into this tutorial. I'm so excited to share with you about color theory. I know this might not be something that you were expecting, but trust me, you need it as a designer. You need to understand colors. Let me ask you a question. Do you even wonder sometimes how designers and artists find the perfect, I mean, the perfect combination when they are designing and you're like, how come I'm not able to pick the perfect color or color combination? Well, this is where I come in, your virtual coach. I'm going to walk you through the different types of colors and how to understand the color wheel, even color complements, as well as how you can basically combine different colors and resources to help you to do all that. Let's just jump right in. Did you know that there are two color wheels? There is the primary color, which is the red, yellow, and blue, which painters use as they combine colors. Now, we do also have the RGB, which is basically used online, and that is the green, red, and blue. Now, that is what I am going to go a little bit in depth about. So in order for me to be able to demonstrate this, I'm going to create three different layers. I'm going to add three layers and I'm going to call this I'm going to go on the red layer and then we want to choose RGB colors. Now for RGB, each of the numbers are going to be 255 but if i want just red g and b must be zero and paint that in now we can go on the green layer and do the same thing we want to put zero for the red and the green 255 and paint that in blue layer double click on the color and change the green to zero the blue to 255 and we can paint that in. We want to go ahead and combine them to see the color that we get. Select all three and change the blend mode to linear dodge add. If I pick my red, I move my red in a little, you realize that the red and the green, where it matches, it gives me what? It gives me a yellow. So I'm gonna move this up a little bit. So I wanna add the green to the blue and see what happens so you get a cyan so if i move the blue and i put it to the red you get a purple if i combine all three colors i will get white so if i put this right here you realize that the middle is white so all the colors put together basically gives you white and when you take all the colors out then you get the opposite of white, which is black. Now, let me show you what happens when I combine all the three colors. This is such a cool theory that everybody, I believe, needs to learn. So you have an idea of what happens when colors are put together. I want to go ahead and show you how you can change your red to all yellow. I want to show you how you can do that with your curves. So we want to click on our red layer and go to adjustment and add a curve adjustment. Now, since we want to change the red to a yellow, you want to go up to the RGB and then you want to choose the green because if you combine the red and the green, it gives you yellow. So you want to take your green and move that. This is how you get all yellow from red and green. 
Let's say that I want to have a bit more of a magenta look in this image. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead to my adjustment and add curves. And I need to change it from red to which color do you think? Yes, you're right. I need to choose a blue. Now, when we move the slider up, you realize that is giving us more of a magenta feel on this image. So if I take this off, you see this is the before and this is the after. It really changes the look of the image. I actually like the after because it adds a bit more of a punch. I want to go ahead and also explain to you what hue and saturation and lightness is all about. So hue is any color on the color wheel. When you take the saturation, it's the intensity or purity of any color. Now the luminance or what we call the lightness is the amount of brightness or light in a color. So if I move the slider of the lightness to the right, I basically take out the color. So when you take the color wheel, the color wheel is divided into two different colors and you have the warm part and you have the cool part. So the warm part is from the purple to the yellow and the warm is from the blues to the green. Now, this is very important to note because of what we call the psychology of color. Now, you know that color plays, color um, affects your emotions. So if you take something like pink, pink is love, respect, is calm, is romantic. When you take red, red is very bold and exciting. When you think about green, you think about peacefulness, health, safety and so on and so forth so if you go online to canva.com you will see that there is a color wheel so if you're a beginner and you you don't know how to pick colors this is the perfect way to start learning how to combine colors so the color wheel has the main color that you choose and it also has a complementary color i know that now sometimes you might want a specific color when designing but you're not sure what other color goes perfectly with it so this is this is it for you so if you're stuck and you don't know what color will work very well with the color that you are using or a client wants if you come to the color wheel as you move this cursor you realize that it tells you what colors work best so if you take this pink it goes with this green if you take the blue it goes with this yellow if you take the cyan it goes with this deep orange burnt orange or deep red and so on and so forth now i'm sure you're wondering but how will I know that these colors work? Well, they do. Click on use this color combination. So you will basically get different examples of how these colors have worked very well together so that you get an idea of how you can also combine your colors. So what if a client gives you two different colors that are not complementary in the color wheel what do you do i want to show you another trick that i use that i think can be very helpful to you and that is even if you go online or on pinterest let's say i want a combination of let's say orange and then let's see what comes up so you can see that if you go to images it gives you different options that you can basically begin to consider. So guys, this brings us to the end of this lesson. I wanted to show you how to use color because I think that is a fundamental thing that every designer needs to know and understand how colors work and even how to combine colors and where to find the resource to use if you are a beginner 
and don't know what to do. So I hope this was helpful. Please like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell for more future uploads. Till next time, please be safe. Bye.